What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, we are going to go over a new locker code and go over some market talk. Before we get into the video, man, make sure to smash the like button, drop the sub, and all that good stuff. Let's get 150 likes on this video, please. That would be greatly appreciated. We're also on the road to 11K. Once we do hit 11,000 subs, we are going to do 100,000 empty giveaway on Twitter and Instagram. So make sure to go follow the Twitter and Instagram. Once we do hit 11K, we will be doing that giveaway. So... Make sure to go drop the follows and drop the subs, all that good stuff. We are going to go over this locker code right now, and then we're going to do that. Also, we are selling MT on Xbox and PS4, so make sure to hit me up for that. Here is the locker code, guys. It's very good. It's for the token market update. It is a token market reward. And also, if you guys didn't type in some of those limited codes yesterday, they are now expired. So just letting you guys know. If you see any of those limited time locker codes, they're gone. They're no longer be able to type. So here it is, man. Reward dash market dash cards, man. I just need, I need 50 tokens, man. I'm trying to save up the tokens. I think they're gonna drop a gold player in the token market. Cause think about it, they drop a token, they drop a player that's viable goaded, and they also drop the grinded player goaded. They haven't done anything with tokens, and honestly, I don't think this token market was good enough. This token market update wasn't good enough. I definitely see something new coming out. But here it is, man the locker code it's on the screen let's get it let's get some fire come on we need the 50 the 50 is probably oh it's on the green that's not too hard to get we should be able to get it i just gotta wait oh it's perfect right there yes okay we're in good hands right now just gotta stay away from the yellow it's looking decent here comes the ball the, the ball is so laggy oh yeah don't go to the yellow looking great let's go we are on the road to the green come on man give me that green give me that green let's go <gasps> Oh, yeah, we got it. Oh, yes, let's go. 50 tokens for bugs. Guys, type in that code. It's pretty fire now. We get in some market talk. And I'm also saving up all my packs for you guys in prize packs. So before we get into the market talk, let's show you guys these. We got a ton of these bad boys. Hopefully, we do pull some fire. Heat check packs, diamond packs, some flash packs. Hopefully, we get some fire from that. But, yeah, let's get into the market. So today is Sunday. You guys love selling cards on Sunday. And I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. Today is probably going to be your best day to sell, your best bet, your best everything to sell today. Why, bro? Endgame is here. That's all I'm going to say. Pretty much. Endgame is literally here. You guys need to sell your cards right now. Why do I say this so much? Because, dude, it's literally May and the markets crash like this, okay? The market, yeah, it rose a little bit. That's why I'm going to say sell your cards. It's definitely still crashed. It's definitely still crashed, but, dude. You're not going to get anything better. You're not gonna. You're never gonna see these cards at this price ever again. Maybe Lamar Odom and Luca, but everything else is going to drop. Yesterday, Melo was at 150k. He actually rose up a ton. We're gonna go over some cards that I think you guys should definitely pick up real quick. Obviously, still the Luca and the Lamar. They're so cheap. This prime player is going to be MJ, LeBron, and Giannis combined. This card. This is. It has to be an insane card. Um, they can't drop garbage. It's going to be something goaded. So whatever it is, it's going to have 50 something Hall of Fame badges. Going to be one of the best cards in the game. Just pick up these cards and thank me later. I promise you it's definitely worth it. Pick up the cards. Do not pop packs. These are going to be great investments. These cards have not been in packs for weeks, almost like a month. Luka hasn't been in packs for months. So definitely pick up these cards. They're worth it. They're going to go up in value, especially when they drop that prime set. Um, all right, let's go over the market. So some cheap Galaxy Obels are Larry Hughes uh, and Jason Terry. If, I, if you guys have them, I honestly think they're going to continue to drop because they're so easy to get, especially Larry Hughes and Terry. Everybody's been evolving them. You guys should definitely... Re I really recommend you guys 110% sell them because that's probably your best bet. Also, man, I've been sitting on this filter right here. It's actually pretty deadly as long as you do have Jason Kidd and, I mean Jason Terry in your collection, which I don't. I'm going to have to buy him back, but... To enable this filter, you could just buy the Diamond Jason Terry for like 14k, which is a pretty big W. Obo filter has been destroyed. Some other things I've seen people doing are putting their minimum buyout and their maximum buyout 
to 99 and 100,000 or maybe just 100,000 and 100,000 and then pressing enabled getting rid of the terries and stuff so a lot of people have been using the enabled i guess it has been working so definitely try out this filter you do need a little a couple players to be enabled though that is the problem also you could just do center man center filter is pretty deadly power forward filter is pretty deadly and small forward filter is pretty deadly so definitely recommend trying these uh, let's see shooting guard. I know point guard is destroyed because there's so many small point guards that nobody wants um, The shooting guard one's decent. You do have to scroll a decent amount But if you do get something on this filter, it's going to be pretty damn money Um, that Marsa. Oh, that's a snipe. Oh, yeah, so there it is man Just missed one snipe Vince Carter for 100k. That's a pretty deadly snipe We just missed that so as you guys can see this filter is pretty money man I just missed the Vince there should be a lot more honestly I would, if you have like a lot of MT, I would definitely recommend picking up some of these cards and then doing the enable filter. But Clyde's 100k, that's cheap too. There's a lot of good shooting guards, a lot of good small forwards on this filter. You can make a lot of MT off this. Power forward, center, small forward, whatever you guys want to do. There's a lot of MT in this. Um, let's get into the next filter. We're pretty much doing filters, insane MT making methods, and what you guys should be doing right now. It's pretty much all a, just a combination. But dude, Spotlight Sim filter has been popping off like crazy. Like, I don't know why... But these cards are not that good. But if you put your filter to around 4K, you could possibly get a ton of diamond snipes. And honestly, it's not competitive at all. This is the least competitive snipe filter in the game. I've gotten stuff for 4K and sold them for 9K when they were on the auction already for like five minutes. I did it with Omari Spellman, and I also did it with uh, some other guy. I think Nick Claxton. But yeah, these amethysts are low-key rare. So if you do get snipes on these, you could sell them for a pretty decent amount of coin. But let's talk about it. a lot of people are like, yo, should I sell these opals? What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Should I sell magic? First off, man, I sold my magic last night for 320,000 MT. I got it for 240K. I don't know what the hell is good, but every Friday when they drop content, everything drops literally like 25%. 25% profit minimum. So if you guys know on Friday, every single Friday, bro, they drop buyer content, the market crashes. Like I said, Clay Thompson's already up. He, I got him for 160k. He's up to 200k already. I'm telling you, man. Clay Thompson was a pretty good investment. It's Clay Thompson. Everybody loves this Thompson. He's probably gonna get a duo with Opal Curry very soon. But yo, what I'm saying is, pretty much every Friday you're gonna make thousands of MT regardless. So if every Friday you do have MT, which I do, I sell. I say sell Sunday for a reason. Sunday market regroups to a pretty decent price every single Sunday. I'm telling you right now, if you simply Buy your team Friday, get your 12 and 0s done, get all this done. You're going to make a lot of MT. And not only that, man, if you guys don't know, this whole 12 and 0 thing is looking pretty nice. There's a ton of opals on here, a lot of opals. I was 9 and 0, lost because my RB was broken. I lost by two points. Very annoying. But yo, I'm telling you, buy your team Friday, get your 12 and 0s done, get the 10 and 0 done, the 10 and 2, whatever, the 10 and. The 11 and 1 with Will. These are good opals, man. Then if you go 12 and 0, you get Glenn Rice, in my opinion, one of the best shooting guards, small forwards in the game. He's so water. Um, but yeah, there's a lot to be doing. Fridays are definitely the time to buy. Sundays are definitely the time to sell. So if I were you right now, sell your cards, man. There's only bigger and better things coming. These pink diamonds, all these amazing pink diamonds are so cheap. And also, if you guys invested in Karma Malone, if you invested in those cheap pink diamonds that were dropped in a takeover set, all those pink diamonds rose a lot. Carl Malone's going for around 18K. He was going for around 10 for a very long time. So if you did listen to my method and I told you guys to invest in a lot of cards, whoever invested in all those cards did dub out. If you bought 100 Carl Malone's at 10K, which is a mil, and sold them for 17, 18K, you're going to make at least 500,000 MT that easy. And honestly, at this stage in the game, I know a lot of people have millions of MT. So if you're investing in pink diamonds that are actually good like Carmelone, you're going to make a lot of MT. But yeah, that's really all we got for the video, man. We just have some market talk. And also, sell all your moment cards and heat check cards because they are going to drop something, something big this week. Because people do need to finish collector level sets. These cards do go for a lot of MT. So please, I recommend you guys sell these cards. And without further ado, man, that's all we got for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Two videos done for today. We'll be back with tomorrow. Some fire. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.